back to the channel guys hey everyone welcome back to walker farm fam thanks for joining us today on the farm and it is burr cold right ransom you know how much colder it is for daddy uh let's see this last week i was in puerto rico and it was 90 degrees and today it's it's about 35 degrees and the north wind is probably blowing at i don't know 20 to 25 miles an hour yeah. Yeah, it's cold. Ransom's looking for his breath. So we'll uh, bring you guys along though a little bit. Ransom has um, school tomorrow. He's out of school today. So he said, Dad, I want to make a video before I have to go to school tomorrow. But we'll go over here and show you guys the animals. They're all doing good, but guess what? It rained all morning long. And so everything... You can see out there, there's water standing everywhere. The wind is blowing strong. So I don't know how much we'll video for you guys today, but we'll try to bring you along a little bit. Um, so I got all the feed loaded up. You guys can see today, I am heated up. So we've got my little heated jacket here. Um, we have all the food for all the animals. And I will tell you, going on the trip in Puerto Rico uh, was awesome, but there is nothing like being at home. So I'm so thankful to be back home. Back with my family, uh, I think it's gone I think for seven days, probably the longest, one of the longest times I've ever been away from them. And everybody did great here though. They did great, the animals are doing awesome. So today we're gonna go um, do all the chores we can and go out and check the hay. So I don't know if you can believe this or not, but somehow I already lost Ransom. I think he's probably playing in the mud if I had to guess. Let's go see if I can find him. Uh, but we also need to go check the cows. They need lots of hay in this weather to get them through uh, any time the temperatures drop. Well, he's not over there by that mud hole, so let's see if I can find him over somewhere else. Oh, there he is. He's riding his bicycle in the mud. Ransom, what are you doing? So Sue has a little bit of food. So I'm gonna pour out the old food and give her some good fresh food. So Sue's making it in this weather. She just wants a little bit of a pet. There you go, girl. Okay. I got her fresh food over here. She's set. Ransom, what are you doing? You're making something for the water to drain into? Cleaning the hay out? Yeah. I told Ransom it is pretty chilly outside and he didn't have to come if he didn't want to. But he didn't hesitate. He wanted to come and do, and that's what Ransom does. So the chickens are doing all right. Oh, the old ram is uh, still here. I'm surprised Cassie didn't sell them while we were gone. And then all of the sheep are doing good inside. They've got a dry spot. The donkeys are over here. Hey, we'll, we'll get over there in a second, girl. You're okay. Zena, come on. I just put your food out. I just put your food out. Why do you like to eat their food? Why is that? They lo She loves to eat somebody else's food. All right, girls. So I'm going to get over here and feed the alpacas. But the uh, cows... I can see them all out in the field, and it looks like they still have a little bit of hay, but I'll probably go ahead and put a new fresh bell out. Um, it is really cold though. My fingers are getting cold, and I'm going to have to, uh, really, I'm going to have to put this camera down in a second. All right. All, right. Uh, all the cows are coming. Get back, 13. So I'm going to have to feed the alpacas later again, maybe when I feed the... Hey, hey, watch it. Usually the cows aren't up here. They came running when they see me. You better get out of here, Alvin, Alfred. <laughs> Hello, girls. Looks like everybody's kind of cold and wet today, which this wind, I don't, hopefully you guys can't hardly hear it with the uh, sound noise canceling mic, but 
It's cold. Just take my word for it. It's really windy and really cold. Watch out, babies. Missy and May May are all ready to eat, but we gotta go over here, girls. Hi, honey. Let's go over there and get their feeds, and I'll feed you. So I think that's all I'm gonna record for today, at least out here in the wind and cold, because Ransom, it's too cold, isn't it? It's perfect weather to play in the water. It's perfect weather to play in the water? I think that's mud. All right. Well, Ransom says it's perfect, but I say it's cold, so I'm gonna put the camera up. I'm gonna go feed hay and cows and water everything, chickens. So I just finished up the chores out front and unfortunately I do have a little bit of bad news. We have one chicken that did not make it. I don't know what's going on with it. It was just in the corner of the coop. Um, but I think it was one of our Smoky Pearls. So if you guys remember the Smoky Pearls, they were three chickens that Cassie got at Outwoods or Tractor Supply. They were good ones. Um, They're real gentle and uh, unfortunately, that one did not make it. So why? I don't know. It's not too cold. The lows last night were only, oh, probably around 33 degrees. It didn't, I don't even know if it got below freezing. It's just hovering right there around freezing. They got food, they got water, they got everything they need. So, well, I just started up the van. I have to go take Mazzy to violin practice. Cassie has been uh, busy today already. She had Ranger at basketball practice earlier. So she's already been out and about. So I'm gonna go do this. Uh, I'm going to take Mazzy there though and uh, give Cassie the bad news. So it is way too cold outside to do work. So I'm putting the kids to work in the house. No. <laughs> so you guys know what goes up must go down. It's the law of gravity. It's also the law of Christmas trees. And usually, that one says Mazzy, we're a little bit faster. But since I was out of town and everybody was busy, we are doing it now instead. So did you guys have a good Christmas? Yeah. What was your favorite part of Christmas, Mazzy? Um, what was your favorite present then? Um, what about those curlers you've been putting in your hair? Sure. Curlers? Mazzy got a wet curler. She curls her hair almost every day. Not, I don't know if she did it yesterday. Ranger, what was your present? Favorite present? Um, probably AirPods. AirPods? Ransom, what about you? My new 22 Rascal. 22 Rascal? I thought you were going to say the go-kart. Both, both. Nobody said the go-kart. Well, it's been too cold. Uh, we haven't had a whole lot of time to ride it, have we, guys? Nope. It's been pretty cold. All right. Well, here we go. Ransom, that bag of yours. How do you know mine? Yep. Everybody find your own, your own decorations. I put my favorite one down here. Uh, Ransom looks like he's working on a car down here. You mechanic? Uh, is this mine? Uh, put it in your bag. It'll go back up next year. So Christmas is over. Those signs have to go down. Ranger's got one. What's that? It's just from 2011. 2011. And then our Highland picture has to go back up. But are you guys ready for school tomorrow? You ready for Rangers. school to start? Ranger, I found one of your section. Ransom, you got yours all in your own little section? Yep. So most of Ransom's are down here by the bottom. All right, well, after they get all theirs off, I'll get all of ours <laughs> off. Maybe I can get Cassie oh, to help me out. That's my second favorite. That's your second favorite? I made this one when I was in pre-K. Mm. So the boys decided they were going to go ahead and take them all down for me. All right, Ranger wants to see if he can get the star. I'm gonna scoot it closer. Gonna get a little closer. Let's see if he can do it. Straight up with it. There you go, good job. So there is the beautiful star. Probably not as beautiful as the one that they followed in the field, but still beautiful. Oh, well, there's some years that we could just uh, forget, but it's all part of our life, so it's fun to look at all the ornaments. Like this one. 
Is that the one you want to forget? Yes. <laughs> Me and too. That's the year we started YouTube, Ranger. Christmas. The one where we quarantined. Ranger, can I see? I'm going to drop it. Well, it was uh, forecasted to have a chance of snow, and I'll turn you around and let you see, the snow is here, so I'm not really excited about this, Shelby. You don't get bothered too much, do you, sis? But the snow is here. I don't know how long it's going to last, but... I don't think it's going to snow very long. I've probably almost finished. Oh, there's Jojo. Hey, baby. So we got the kids off to school. Um, I think the forecast said just a minute ago about 30 more minutes of snow and it's going to be over for the day. So I've got a lot of stuff to do, though, around the farm today. Since it is cold, winter weather is moving in. Uh, it's going to warm up for a couple days, and then it's going to be frigid cold so I've got the fire going I'm gonna put some stuff on and then so the snow finally quit and that means it's time for me to get to work putting out hay and doing stuff like that uh, because Cassie has ball games tonight and I'm gonna to have to uh, get all the chores done in time to go to ball games so let's get inside and get uh, the tractor out Whew. well it is cold out there Luckily, I've got my gloves, my hat, jacket, everything's warming me up. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the tractor and put some um, hay out. I'll bring you guys along for that. But I wanted to stop a minute and talk about life being full-time on the farm as opposed to working 9 to 5 and then trying to do YouTube, trying to do the farm, and trying to do everything. I am so thankful that I get to be home. Um, just for instance, today... You guys saw the snow this morning. I was able to go around and check the animals. Um, I'm able to, right now I'm about to put out hay. I'll get all the chores done. I have plenty of time to do them in the daylight uh, before we go to ball games tonight. So Cassie will be coaching tonight. Ranger doesn't play, but we're going to go to the games. So little things like this make a big difference in my life. Um, I'm not uh, having to come home after dark, rush around, get animals fed, not being able to really check on them well. I'm so thankful for this, and I just wanted to stop and say that because you are a big part of it. If you weren't here watching, if you wouldn't, weren't following along, if you weren't clicking on that video and subscribing to our channel, it would not be possible. So, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And with that, I want to see if the tractor will start. is blowing they say by the weekend that it'll be snowing I guess I'm just tired of the cold that this life is offered but I shouldn't complain there's so many things that I should be thankful for I've been hoping, praying, thinking and saying that I wish things, I wish things just would change, but I know it's me that needs to change. And life's not easy, and it will never be, and the only hope is waiting there for me, waiting there for me to set me free. God will set me free Times get lonely But it's times like these I need to see that There's a hand held out for me And it's a strong hand a hand that understands my every need 
every blood drop that I bleed. And I've been hoping, praying, faking and saying that I wish things, I wish things just would change. But I know it's me that needs to change. Life's not easy, and it will never be. And the only hope is waiting there for me, waiting there for me to set me free. God will set me free. So one really strange thing right now in the middle of all this cold weather, the chickens have really started to pick up their egg, egg production. So here is 18 beautiful eggs. I just packaged those up. And then I have about, I don't know, probably 60 more behind me from the last four or five days uh, that I'm going to get packaged up and take to our local food pantry. So here in Oklahoma, if you sell eggs at a farmer's market or something, you have to have a license from the state. But if you sell them from your farm, or if you give them away, you have no license required. And luckily, our local food pantry um, has uh, graciously accepted our eggs, so we don't have to do anything extra as far as licensing goes. And um, we have been getting several uh, cartons from our subscribers, so a big thank you to those who sent egg cartons. They really do go a long way whenever we go to give these eggs away. So that's it here on the farm. Uh, the hay's done, the feed's done, the uh, chickens are fed, everything's done. So I'm going to head back in. We have basketball games tonight, but before we end the video, we'll catch up with Cassie. So we do have a little surprise for you to end the video. You can see we were lucky with the hog trap. Ransom was sitting on five hogs. He had a big time um, as we took care of those. People always want to know, what do you do with them? What do you do with them? We deal with them. That's what we do with them. <laughs> so that's, um, we don't show everything. I know a lot of you guys don't want to see um, the uh, blood Ending and guts and all. <laughs> gore and all that kind of things, but we are successful. A lot of people have asked, how did you do it? What is that trap made of, this and that? Go back a couple videos. You can see me building it over on Catching Up With The Walkers, but two panels, two sticks off the ground and one piece of rope. That's how you, that's how you build it. And the T-post. Like maybe three or four T-posts, yeah, four or and, five. And some bailing wire. So that's our trap. Um, but Cassie um, is gonna head off to school. We just got done with the dentist appointments at um, Tahlequah. Everybody nice and shiny. Yep, Ranger had chipped a tooth a week and a half ago and he got that fixed. So a lot of things going on at the farm. We wanna thank you guys for following along with our family. We hope you have a great day and God bless. Love you guys.